Hi guys, I'm Caroline. This is Short Skirts and Sarcasm and I'm going to take a short detour from the books to talk about all my cassette tapes today. Um, I thought it would be interesting to show you this because I haven't seen many like cassette videos on YouTube, probably because no one has a cassette player anymore except me it seems. Uh, but they, they live on my bookshelves so it's almost like a book, kind of. So this is a short little fun video. I'm gonna show you all the cassettes that I have here in London. There's there's more in my parents' house that I haven't stolen from my parents yet. So I might expand my cassette collection soon, who knows? So first I have the best of the doors. Um, the doors are great. I really enjoy them. They are a classic rock. And so I, I have their best of, I did steal this from my parents, but they don't really use their cassette player anymore. So I think it's fair game. Next, I have a mixtape that my mom made in the late nineties. It's all the music that we used to listen to on summer holidays. And so it is nostalgia central. I think most of these were actually recorded off the radio. So it's it's true nineties mixtape. And then not quite a nineties mixtape, but it's my version of trying to be a nineties mixtape. This is the mixtape that I made myself. So you can see all my handwriting on here. Um, I, I did, use iTunes to record this, but I did put it on cassette tape. I went to my thrift store, my local thrift store. They had, they had four, uh, like empty cassette tapes for a dollar. So I was like, yes, please. I will take all of these. They only had four there. So, <laughs> um, so this is like extremely 2013 music. Um, got Riptide, uh, These Streets, Candy by Robbie Williams, which is a song that came out uh, and then no one ever talked about it again, but I really like it. And uh, yeah, I've got some vaccines, got some Walk the Moon, got some Wombats. This is an extreme like 2013, 2014 time capsule. But I love it. I still do listen to this. Like I listen to all of these. And then I've got Karma by Tarkan. Tarkan is a uh, Turkish pop star. He has a Spotify like a normal person, uh, but I like to listen to the cassette tapes. Uh, this one's the only one I have here. I stole this one from my mom. Uh, this album I think came out in like 2002, maybe? I know he had an album that came out in 1997, which I also have somewhere, but not here. And I can't remember if it's this album or if this one's the early 2000s one. I think this is the early 2000s one, but all these songs are great. I don't understand them because I can't speak Turkish. However, great to listen to. And then these next three are recently acquired. When I went to visit Chloe in Dorset, we did go to a record shop and uh, look at some vinyl because uh, I'm also a nerd in that way. And uh, I came across their cassette collections, which were like 50p each. So I was like, well, time to get some more cassettes. So I got Kylie by Kylie Minogue because Kylie Minogue is an icon. And I think this was one of either her first or one of her first albums. She's got like some extreme 80s hair here with the uh, hats that don't have a top. Why were those a thing? I don't know, but it's got I Should Be So Lucky on it, which is like her most famous song, I think. So a classic, no regrets. And then I got the Beatles at the Hollywood Bowl. This was in the uh, special case behind the till. It was 250. So a real splurge here. That's two pounds 50p, not like 250 pounds. Just to be clear, the splurge was not that splurgy. So this is a live album. Uh, obviously at the Hollywood Bowl and it has Twist and Shout, She's a Woman, Dizzy Miss Lizzie, Ticket to Ride, Can't Buy Me Love, Things We Said Today, Roll Over Bait Hoven, uh, Boys, It's a Hard Day's Night, Help All My Loving, She's Too Young, and Long Tall Sally. So all good stuff. And then my last album is Art Garfunkel Breakaway, which I actually haven't listened to yet. I did see Art, Gar Art, 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 Art Garfunkel live a few years ago. He came to my town in California. Uh, shocking. I know because my town is very, very small. So uh, 
saw him there i didn't think it was going to be like amazing but it turned out to be amazing so i was like well i clearly need more so got the cassette tape and then last this is my newest acquisition this is the vaccines back in love city this is the back i pre-ordered their album and i got this cassette tape and um they haven't listed their songs on here why yeah the cassette tape uh, a cd and the vinyl i really wanted the vinyl um and the cassette tape and then also came with the cd i don't have a cd player uh, i was gonna say because i don't live in the in the past but clearly i do but i don't live in the cd player past i live in the walkman vinyl era past which is possibly even more embarrassing, but that's okay. I'm not embarrassed about it. I have no shame about my cassette collection. So I hope you enjoyed this little detour from the books into cassette land. Um, I hope you also have cassettes. Make me feel less lonely, please. So thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video, which probably will be about books, but maybe not.